Hey guys, so we're gonna have a, a playthrough or walkthrough of, of the lair or uh, Tyrotone's lair, uh, the full name. Here you got a whole bunch of uh, rewards, but basically they're all for uh, recycling. Um, <coughs> and let me see, maybe crystals and soul shards and so um, what what you call it? Um, those purple ones for the quest. But anyways, let's see. So the eyes and the formation wasn't set. Also, let me get the sound working. So we got Zico, who is a crazy archer. We got Lucy and Tara, who are amazing uh, mages. Let's pop in a hundred uh, scroll there. So here we're gonna get especially a uh, huge amount of um, blah, 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 experience because there is world prosperity. Uh, there's world prosperity as well as um, additional bonus. Um, so I'm looking forward 25,000 Daru there from the uh, treasure. So we're all crusaders except Zico is a knight crusader. And this is really like um, not talking here specifically about the people. Let me get the sound a little bit down for me. There you go. Um, not talking here specifically about the people but uh, two mages, an archer and a knight. That I think would be uh, an ideal f uh, formation for, for any dungeon. And that's mostly because the archer is dishing out crazy damage, which is really awesome for uh, bosses. And then you got um, the mages who are doing a rain of fire twice, which are great for um, cleaning up the mobs as you go through. And the knight, of course, uh, tanking. Although in this specific case, with, with this party, I'm the weakest link here. So, but I'll try to hold my own and do my tanking job. But with this party, I'm not worried whatsoever uh, in in uh, winning this whole thing uh, with actually even relative ease. So we made a small bet in how long uh, it would take to do all the three runs. We're doing three one after another uh, and with a strong party you can actually do three runs of lair in, in like um, which we call it uh, 23 minutes 25 minutes but uh, with me um, give, um, bringing in a little bit of weakness it, it will take slightly longer the reason I say that I'm the weakling here is because um, well the others are just much stronger uh, it's simple as that and plus I'm a non casher so I don't have uh, wings and I don't have any special items here we got a blue armor which will go directly to recycling and the crystals which I haven't figured out what what the heck to do with the crystals So I have 700,000 gold on me because we just finished uh, World Boss uh, which had 390 million uh, health. We see how powerful the Reign of Fire is, just two Reigns of Fire with two hits uh, from the other, uh, from, from the Archer and the Knight and it's all finished. Really, mages have a really great advantage in that. Um, I also know that a bunch of people, instead of spending money on blitzing the catacombs, uh, they, they go level after level, and if you're a mage, you just press the rain of fire, as you're starting anyways with a minimum 30 rage. Ah, what happened? Apparently my crit rate sucks, uh, I'm told, but um, 
I even uh, have an orange astral. Unlucky, I guess. So apparently, I haven't. I wasn't watching my uh, crits, but apparently, I wasn't doing too many. So most important is not to crit here, but uh, during the world boss. So Balora here, the second mini boss. I do love doing a uh, triple critical Delphic Destroyer for the whip, uh, world boss. Soul crystals and a crystalloid. With a little bit of lag going over to the last level. I think here were six mobs, so we all go area damage. But of course the rain of fires are insane and Zico finishing up finishing it up before I even have a chance for my whirlwind. Whoop Shadow Crystal Treasure Oh here at least I'll get to do my whirlwind. I have a level 4 whirlwind so it can be useful. I should hurry up and take the chest there. Coins, chest on the right side. And some people are faster. City protection token, no. I don't know, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Ah. I still have the increased critical astral on me since the world boss instead of my block. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna have the crazy attack from the world boss coming through. Here we go Delphic, but you see the crazy damage uh, Zico is doing, multi shot with 8 plus thousand times 2, no critical there from my Delphic unfortunately and the crazy breath came in, blessed light coming through from Tara, great timing everybody gets healed back up. And that crazy noise from the world boss on. He's got guardian shield on him, fast casting, although at the same time the casting speed was reduced. Zico I think cl cleansed him of his bonuses and he goes down so easy it's unbelievable compared to the first time when I fought with this guy. So it really came in from, from, the, from my guild mates definitely only a little bit of help from myself. 1 million uh, experience for that is really crazy 1 million is because we got world prosperity plus 29 percent we also got another hundred percent and we got um, from also given from the game I got uh, friendship level 3 and we also I also got uh, experience scroll plus 100 percent Although now that I'm thinking maybe the experience scroll is not working, but I'm not 100% sure about that.
Because I think the regular experience is 400,000. So double that with this experience. Um, that already makes it into nearly a million. Hmm. Let me get a drink. Guys, also check out my, my little blog. It's got um, a whole bunch of fun uh, pictures and information. It's cosmoswartune.blogspot.com uh, or you can just Google uh, Cosmos Wartune blog or something. I haven't tried it myself but it should be pretty easy to find. I also have the link un link after under each video so you can check it out. Especially uh, one of the um, posts there I made was uh, really cool for me when I found those crazy 160,000 bell rating players from China is absolute madness. <laughs> I just I actually Zico is asking me what's the latest video I made and I actually made uh, just now a really great video on um, uh, on uh, getting physical defense So let me ch type this out, a great video on 17 ways of increasing your defense. I think that's going to be a popular video, I mean that's pretty cool, I didn't, I didn't know there are 17 ways of it myself while I was making it. So here we, uh, we got uh, a debuff which is 30% magical defense reduction. I do have about 650 videos on my channel. And how many views do I have? Let me go see. I got 63,000 views sixty three that's not so bad sixty three thousand views in the last thirty days. And 190,000 hours watched. It's pretty impressive. I mean, if you if you do anything in your life a little bit every day, it really adds up. Like I was giving advice to my nephews, like when you wake up, just jump off the bed and do push-ups as much as you can. And then start your day. And you'll be amazed at how much stronger you get if, if you just do that every morning for your entire life. So I think life is like a, you know, you can really make it happen. If you do anything in your life, you want to reach somewhere, just do a little bit every day to go in that direction and you got it. So that's uh, advice on top of Wordtune, you got now life advice. <laughs> People pay for that stuff. So 
So we got Tara and Lucy are my two favorite ladies here in our guild and probably in the whole of War Tune. I, I chat with them uh, sometimes on the guild chat uh, already for a long time. So nice people. Had a lot of fun with Zico also. Generally we got a really good guild so if you're a, I don't know, a relatively high level person apply to Sanctum. Uh, on the Europe server of armor games if you're there should be good we're a friendly group of people having fun <laughs> the boss is going down I should find some time to switch my block astral into the instead of the enchanting one <laughs> let me see I need a second to do that let me see if I can quickly you're off your ear yes I did it I did it now I get to block a little bit and heal so I, I wouldn't be so ridiculous let's see if I can get my whirlwind through oh no Tara did the Santoria instead of rain of fire so my whirlwind will go through but Zico almost cleaned that I got some quests completed. Oh, Shadow Crystal quest is great. It's giving nearly a million experience. They're pretty hard to collect, but if you do the guild blessing every day, and uh, sorry, guild altar every day, and if you do your uh, multiplayer dungeon runs, you get huge extra experience by completing the Shadow Crystal's uh, quest. Another city protection token that is ridiculous. Can't believe I got two times. Here's the Shadow Crystal 760,000 experience additional to your regular things yeah. what is that? Oh, okay so now we should be killing the boss even easier because Zigo didn't miss his first attack there good timing on my shield I could absorb that damage only got 3000 Quickly healed up by Santoria. There goes the Delphi. Come on with criticals. No, again, no criticals. It seems we do a lot less critical in the regular game than we do in the world boss fight. So I, I did hear from Zico also that. Um, that we, we get buffed up for criticals for the world boss which could be true I don't know oh there goes the I don't know the name but it's not purification but basically he negates the bonuses that the boss has I absorb another 10,000 damage and he's dead so that's two runs done let me see in if I can see how long oh oh no great reward for us so we got there 19 minutes two runs Straight into a battle in the third run. Mm. 
So projecting forward it would take so 30 minutes for 3 runs which is very very decent for me. But I think if you get like 4 powerful players you can definitely do it in what I heard the 23-25 minutes. So here I also see quite a lot of people managing, trying actually not to level up. And the reason they're doing that is because of the way the battleground has changed. Now basically if you have high honor and you go to the battleground and you fight somebody lower uh, than you, you lose a lot of honor. I've already lost a couple of times 400 honor by getting killed by either cash uh, elite warriors or non-cash but with uh, Gaia's blessing um, like five times dead in a row type of uh, also warriors elite warriors and you lose so much honor and in the entire guild war uh, you you win like and, and forget almost now winning uh, within 20 minutes so at best you get 850 honor so you know in, in like a 40 minute battle uh, you win 850 if, if your whole guild wins the, the battle and then you go to battleground and you do like a one minute fight and you lose 400 honor that's just ridiculous so a lot of players are making sure now they they only level up when they're ready to go to the next level of the battleground so if you're like uh, now I'm 57 becoming 58 almost any time and um, but when I so I'm participating in the battleground of uh, levels 55 to 59 or something like that so um, if actually I, I level up to 60 I would have immense problems because then I would be transferred to the battleground of the players of 60 and above and there you would get so murdered because you have crazy people there and you would never get even the two kills that you need so a lot of people are actually not leveling up or, or f trying to reduce their experience not to become 60 until they yeah become a lot stronger I don't know but um, one way of doing that or actually the only way uh, there are two ways of doing it one way is um, basically not to participate in whatever events uh, which gives you a lot of experience give an example the guild tree is giving about a million a million and a half experience on my level here so uh, if I wanna um, av avoid that, that that's what I do um, I haven't done it myself but that, that's an option um, I don't wanna limit my experience because exactly I'm not, I'm not a cashier so I need to get as strong as I can as fast as I can but yeah, it's different preferences and then you also got uh, the popular option of um, slowing down your levels and that is using the talents because uh, as uh, to to get higher levels of talents you need to um you need to pay gold but also a lot of experience so um that's what you can do you can keep on leveling up your talents and block uh, blocking yourself from uh, rising in levels and then you become stronger and stronger on on your level but of course you don't rise so that's a trade off uh you can do but um I did have somebody advise me to actually forget that and go ahead with the higher levels simply because the higher level you are the more experience you earn and the more experience you earn then um, and the more experience you earn then uh, you can buy the talents much easier So let's see if I can show it. Uh, if we have a moment of rest, I will show it. So we are 25 minutes at the moment.
Oh wow, I'm almost dead there. Gonna throw in a shield. So I spe specifically wanted to record this three runs in a row, although I know it's exactly the same, but still um, to show uh, how f you can do it in a fast way without losing too much time. Totally out of rage now, but I got a shield and I did a Delphic, so that's pretty good. And uh, here, for example, Zico he is, is uh, playing kind of half watching the game. So when you become uh, strong uh, up to a certain level, then you don't have to even pay too much attention. Um, you can just do things or help your guildmates and kind of um, yeah do other stuff like if you have two monitors uh, you can do your business on one screen and still play on the other screen in the AFK mode for example so nice that I'm getting shadow crystals I really appreciate that from the game See if I can. I have enough. Yeah, I only got one reward from the three runs. But uh, Lucy is right. If you, uh, if the people receive uh, Daru rewards, uh, then of course your run is faster. But actually, this is uh, an example of a run where most people didn't get that. Wow, that looks really great, the criticals. Oh, there I see some advice in the chat. Uh, apparently somebody has uh, joined the multiplayer dungeon and then quit, which is not cool at all. So I agree with that, don't start. Um, don't start dungeons if you don't have the time. Here we go, the last boss fight. And we're coming to 28 minutes now, so I guess it will take one or two minutes to kill this boss. So we are at three runs and 30 minutes. So let's get the Delphi going on. There comes the reduction of the casting speed from Zico. Bam! Casting speed reduced by 100%. And there you have it, exactly 29 minutes and 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 29 minutes and 29 seconds, 3 runs completed. And there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe. It always helps. Share with friends. And that's it. Thanks for watching.